Okay, and we're back. Getting ready for the boys' game to start. Starting players for the boys McLean Titans. Number one, Galloway. Number 22, Nichols. And number 55, Taylor. And I'll get the other two that I missed. Looks like 32, Brooks is one of the starters. And 21, Bennett. And now the starting five for the Preg Red Devils. Number three, Blustin Miller, a sophomore. Junior, number 10, Nate Lester. Junior, number 14, Trip Davis. Sophomore, number 25, Cameron Hightower. And sophomore, number 30, Peyton Ezell. Again, the Prague Red Devils are 1 0 with the win over Wewoka the other night. This will be their second contest of the season. Coached by Nate Greer and A.J. Woodall. Preg the home team wearing the white jerseys. The Titans in the maroon and gray. Maroon, solid maroon jerseys with the gray numbers. Again, just like the last stream, I said, don't go away at halftime. We'll stream the uh, halftime festivities if you care to watch those. And it looks like we're ready to kick this thing off. Number 10, Nate Lester will be jumping against number one, Galloway, for the Titans. Preg will be going from right to left. McLean from left to right. Galloway wins the tip. Number 32, Brooks with the drive. He'll miss it, gets his own rebound. And it looks and it looks like they called a jump ball there. So Preg will take that one since the Titans controlled the tip. Looks like they're going to play full court man-to-man -man here. Lester with the drive gets it stolen by number 14. McCall, who kicks it out to number 10. Liggins for a three, and that's good. So he'll have the first points of the game for the Titans, well, in total. Kick down to Hightower underneath the goal. He goes up strong and the ball is blocked. Then it's stolen by Preg. Oh, Hightower had a great chance to get that one. Sorry about that. Anyways, Hightower had a great look at it. He just couldn't get it up in time. Kind of dropped the ball there. But so McLean leaves it three to nothing with 6:50 left in the first period. Red Devils yet to score. It's number 14, McCall on the drive. He's gonna foul and he'll be shooting too. Peyton Ezell picks up his first foul. McCall makes the first one. And 
and he makes the second. So the Titans out to a 6-0 lead. Full court press man to man. Miller's going to drive and kick it out to, to Lester for a wide open three, and it, it barely missed that one. Rebound, Titans. Number 32, Brooks. That's number 21. No, I'm sorry, 22, Nichols with the wide open three from the corner. And as Preg brings the ball down after the three-point, we had a foul called. Liggins is going to be called for hit for a foul. So Preg in ball, inbound the ball, and they're on the tight side of the court. Blustin Miller for a three from way outside, and he hits it. So Preg is on the board. That ball was deep. He was about five foot behind the three-point line. Could be number 14 McCall on the drive, and he's going to get fouled. I think it's more of a push slash hand check foul. And that's going to be on Ezel. That's going to be his second foul already in the game. Same spot. This time it was number 21, Bennett. And it's rebounded by the Titans and put back. So McLean goes up by seven, 10 to three. And we're going to have a ref stoppage. I think there was some mouthing back and forth between the two teams, and he tried to squash that pretty quick. Looks like they were. So play resumes. Nate Lester with the three attempt. It's rebounded by Blustin Miller. Blustin with the crossover in the middle of the lane. He's going to go up strong. He's going to make it, but they're going to call him for a charge. Number 32, Brooks, stood his ground, and the refs agreed with him, and he'll get a an, – and Blustin's going to get an offensive foul called right there on a charge. So five minutes left in the first period. Looks like there's some substance on the court they're trying to get cleaned up. Now play will resume after they get that cleaned up. 10 to 3, five minutes left in the first period. Two wide open threes made by the Titans. That's another deep three attempt by the Titans, and it's good. That's going to be number 10, Liggins. Number 14, Trip Davis takes a shot from just inside the three-point line. It's no good. Going to be rebounded by number 32, Brooks. Fourteen, McCall on the drive, and he'll score. And Preg's going to call a timeout. So 4-11 left in the first period, and Klain off to a really nice start, leading the Red Devils 15-3. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching 
Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. So play resumes, Preg's ball. Hightower tries to get it to Blustin Miller, but it's stolen by number 32, Brooks. And he's going to be fouled by Hightower up near the top of the key. He's on the floor, so it'll be an inbound play, I think, anyways. He's going to get called for the push. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul on that. They said he pushed off. So 32 Brooks uses his forearm to push off down low, and he's going to get called by the off for the offensive foul. So Preg will take it over with 3.50 left in the first period. And McLean is playing full court man-to-man, -man, and they are playing hard. They're all over. So Bluston Miller gets fouled by number 12, Smith. That'll be their third team foul and his first. Preg also with three team fouls. Lustin Miller on the drive, and he's going get, to gonna get fouled. He had a chance to get and one right there, so a blocking foul called on number 22, Nichols. That'll be his first, I believe, McLean's fourth team foul, and Bluston will shoot two free throws. He makes the first. And a couple of Titans will be subbed out and subbed in. Number five, Buckley comes in. And number one, Galloway comes back in. Miller's second free throw is off, but Hightower is going to get the rebound and kick it back out to Bluston Miller. Bluston turned around and kicks it back out to Trip Davis in the corner. His three-pointer is short. Rebounded by Nate Lester, who's going to go up strong, and he's going to miss. And then we're going to have a loose ball foul called against Craig. I think Eli Bias is going to be called for the, for the loose ball foul. So we have Trip Davis, Bluston Miller, Eli Bias, Nate Lester, and Cameron Hightower on the floor for the Red Devils. Three minutes and three seconds left in the first period. Tried to get it down to number 14. McCall, that pass was a little too hot, out of bounds. It'll be Preg's ball. 15 to 4, McLean leading Preg. Davis takes the ball around the right side, trying to go baseline, and he's going to be fouled on the floor with a push by number five, Buckley. And Preg will inbound underneath the Titan goal. Lester throws an oop to Davis, and that, that was beautiful. Nate Lester just throws it right up in, and Trip Davis comes flying in and puts in the tip. So Preg's cut the lead down to single digits. Preg looks like they're in a man-to-man, -man, half-court man-to-man -man set. That's number three. I'm sorry, 14 McCall on the drive. So after the three attempt by the Titans, the Red Devils come storming back down. And I think Nate Lester gets fouled going up, and he's going to shoot too. Number five, Buckley, again called for the foul. It's his second foul. That's the Titans' sixth team foul. So from here on out in the rest of the half, Preg's going to be shooting a one and one situation. Brooks is going to come back in for the Titans, as well as Liggins. 
Buckley will sit. And Taylor, number 55, will sit down for the Titans. Lester makes the free throw. Or both free throws, rather. McCall tried to get it to Buckley down low. Passes off the mark, and that'll be a turnover on the Titans. Preg ball. One minute, 42 seconds left in the period. Nate Lester's going to stop and pop from the top of the key. He's off the mark, but Bias is going to get the rebound. Hit Davis that goes to Hightower. He goes up strong and makes it. Really good passing right there by Preg. Down low. I think almost everybody on the team touched the ball in the last five seconds of that possession. Which is really good. Minute and 15 left in the first quarter. Preg's got the lead to seven. 10 to 17. Number 10, Liggins from way downtown again. And we cannot leave him open. He's going to make them. That's about his second or third one already this game. Trip Davis is going to drive. He's going to kick it to Nate Lester, who's going to throw up a two-point right inside the lane, and he's going to make it. So Preg's kind of getting their feet back underneath them and scoring a little bit here. We're just going to have to jump on those guys that can shoot them threes. Number 10, Liggins is going to drive. He's going to be fouled at the top of the key. Nate Lester picks up his second foul. Then we have some discussion down low here. I'm not really sure what's going on. Looked like they're lining up for free throws, but I'm pretty sure that was on the floor. There we go. They got they got the team switched, so we're we're back in business now. McLean will take the ball out here on the side, the nearest side to me. 42 seconds left in the first quarter. 20 to 12, in favor of Tulsa McLean. It's number 10 Liggins outside again. And that's off the mark and going to go out of bounds in favor of Prague. That might be the first shot he's missed of the game. So 32 seconds left in the first period, and McLean's going to full press man-to-man -man again. <laughs> 26 seconds of counting. And Tripp's going to take it himself, kick it right back out to Blessed Miller, whose shot is off. Rebound number 22, Nichols for the Titans. Liggins is going to throw it to Brooks down low. He's going to pump fake and go up. Shot's off the mark, but he's going to be fouled. 11.8 seconds left in the period. And 32 Brooks for the Titans is going to shoot two. Bleston Miller called for the foul. Both teams at six team fouls. So from here on out in the first period, we'll be shooting at least one and ones both ways. Brooks taking his time at the line. He'll miss the first free throw. Brooks, Brooks' second free throw is good. And number 14, McCall's going to come back in for number 21, Bennett, for the Titans. So on the floor for Prague is Nate Lester, Trip Davis, Cameron Hightower, Eli Bias, and two Jalen Smith. Trip's going to drive and then pump fake and throw one off the glass. It's going to be good. Liggins throws up a half court at the end of the first period. That's no good. So 14 to 21 into the first period in favor of McLean. Visit our website at gopioneer.com. Call us at 800-641-2732 or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. 
Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies. All right, and we're back at the start of the second quarter. Nice, 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 nice steal. Nice defensive series for the Red Devils. Jalen Smith came up with that steal off a deflection. Nate Lesser is going to drive and shoot about a 12-foot shot, and that's going to be good. Treg, uh, Preg is so, slowly creeping back into this. Had the score wrong there. It's 21 to 16, 6.52 left in the half. Again, both teams with six fouls. So we are shooting free throws from here on out. That's going to be number 12, Smith from the corner. Shot's going to be off. Jalen Smith gets the rebound. Trip Davis is going to drive and kick it to Hightower, who's fouled. Cameron Hightower is going to be shooting two free throws here. Foul is going to be called on number 32, Brooks. That's his second foul and the 17th foul for the Titans. Hightower's first free throw is off. Bias, Davis, Hightower, Smith, and Lester on the court for Prague. Hightower misses his second free throw, but they're going to get number 32, Brooks, for a lane violation. So Hightower will get to shoot another free throw. I've never seen so many lane violations called in one night of basketball. It's about the sixth one between the girls and the boys. Hightower makes them pay with that violation and makes the second free throw. Number 12, Smith with the three-point attempt. That was off the mark. Lester rebounds, goes to the court. Lester throws up a shot, and it's missed. Gets his own rebound and puts it back. 24 to 19, 545 left until halftime in favor of the Titans. Number 14, great pass to number 32, Brooks. McCall to Brooks on the back door. Trip Davis from the corner is going to throw up a three. It's going to be off. Bias almost had the read down. But that's going to be number one, Galloway, that comes down with it. Throw the ball down court. And Nate Lester makes a good hustle play and knocks the ball out of bounds. So the Titans will have the ball about mid court on the far end. 
with 5-12 left in the half. 19-26 in favor of McLean. Titans being patient here. Going to kick it down in. And then here goes Liggins from the corner again for a three, and that's going to be off. Rebound, Eli Bias kicks it back out the trip, and Preg's going to go down hard. I thought he got fouled there, but no call. Going to be a steal for the Titans. And that's number 14, McCall, that goes coast to coast and gets two. Nate Lester with a great pass to number two, Jalen Smith. Nate drives, sucks the defense to him, and goes over the top and hits Jalen Smith underneath. He's wide open. Way outside, way outside McCall from almost by Coach Greer's box makes a three. And there's not much you can do about that. Nate Lester drives in and is going to get called for the walk, so that'll be a turnover for Prague. Three minutes, 56 seconds left in the first half, 21 to 31 in favor of Tulsa. Tactics and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Support you. So play fixing to resume in the middle of the second quarter. Titans ball. Then we have a official timeout. Some water on the floor, I guess, by the Got that cleaned up now, play resumes. Number five, Buckley from the corner for three, and that's good. We're going to have to do better defending the three ball because that seems like that's all they're doing, and they're very good at it. Davis is going to kick it to Lester, who makes a guy miss and goes up. Hightower comes down with it, and Lester's going to throw one from the corner that's off. Davis gets the rebound. He's going to try to get it to Hightower but it's stolen. 55 Taylor was there to make the steal. Number 10 Liggins throws the ball out of bounds for the Titans. That'll be a turnover. Red Devil ball. A couple of suds coming in. Blustin Miller re-enters the game along with Peyton Ezell. They're on the floor with Nate Lester, Trip Davis, and Cameron Hightower. But still, for the Titans, number one, Galloway, he'll go down and take a shot, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot two.
Lester's going to be called for, I believe it's his third foul. No, just his second foul. So this is Galloway in his first of two. He'll miss the first one. Lester will exit, and Eli Bias will come back in. Galloway knocks down the second free throw. 35 to 21 in favor of the Titans. Galloway's going to get another steal and go coast to coast, and he'll slam it. Well, if that won't kill your momentum, I don't know what will. Trip Davis going coast to coast. He's going to miss the layup. Thirty-two Brooks is going to drive. He's going to be called for the walk. So a turnover, a rare turnover against the Titans. Two oh two left until halftime. Thirty-one twenty-seven in favor of the Titans. We have a timeout on the floor. I guess there's some more wet stuff down there at the underneath the Titan goal. So play will resume. Titans still four, full court press man to man. They've done it the entire game. Trip Davis with the drive. He's going to try to get it out to Ezell, and it's picked off. Titans come down strong again, and Galloway gets the pass, and he tries to dunk it this time. He's going to be a little bit short, so the Red Devils will get the ball and come back the other direction. Minute 23 left until half. Ball's kicked out to trip. Davis from the corner, and he'll bury a three. Man, we needed that. We needed that big time. Buckley again from the left wing, and he's going to hit another one. I don't have the stat sheet in my hands, but I have no idea how many three-pointers the Titans have hit tonight. But I bet it's almost in double digits in the first half. Literally all but about eight points that they've had have been off three points. 58 seconds left until halftime. Ezell's going to drive. And I believe he's going to be fouled. Yeah, he'll be fouled by number 14, McCall. And I believe that'll be his first. So Ozell will go to the line, shoot a one-and-one -one situation. 49.3 seconds left until half. Then we'll start the halftime festivities if you guys want to watch that. Ozell's first free throw is off the mark. Rebound is going to be Liggins. Number 10, he'll kick it out to Buckley again for a three, and that's a rare three miss. Liggins will get the rebound, put it back up, and rebound. The loose ball comes back out to Ezell. Ezell's going to get a good look from the corner. Gets a good bounce, but it's just off the mark. Buckley with the rebound for the Titans. And that's number 10, Liggins, with the easy layup. 42-24. 14 seconds of counting. 10. And another turnover. Liggins will miss the layup. But the putback is going to be good for McCall. And that's about the story of how the first half went for, for Prague. You know, a lot of turnovers. And the Titans have rarely missed a three-point opportunity in the, in the, on their side of the court. So at halftime, 24-44 in favor of Tulsa. 
Just hang out here. I'll keep the stream going. As soon as the festivities start, I'll, t I'll turn it back on. Your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer...
So congratulations to Tori Lester for winning the Homecoming Queen and Jalen Smith, her escort. Having a little issues with our sound tonight. So we got about seven minutes and 45 seconds left until we start the second half of this game. So we will be right back until then. Green printing and embroidery on t-shirts. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With Orthopedic Urgent Care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you and the others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running the way you should be. Call Versatile Networks today at 405-217-0267 or visit versatilenetworks.com for more information.
Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Oh, we're back. We've got about a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock until we start the second half. Both teams are warming up. All right, we're about to get the second half underway. Tulsa McLean Titans leading the Red Devils 44 to 24. About 15 seconds left on the clock until we start the second half. It looks like Preg's original starting five on the floor. 14, Trip Davis. 10, Nate Lester. 30, Peyton Zell. 25, Cameron Hightower. And number three, Bluston Miller. On the court for the Red Devils. On the court for the Titans, 32, Brooks. 21, Bennett. 10, Liggins. 14, McCall. And number one, Galloway. Preg going from left to right this half. Miller throws back door to Nate Lester, who's off the mark, but Hightower's going to get the rebound. He's going to go back up. And then a loose ball foul is going to be called against Nate Lester. That'll be his third foul. First foul of the half for either team. See if we can hold their three ball down this this half. Brooks driving is going to kick it back out to a couple other Titans. That's 14 McCall on the drive. His shot's off. He hits hard. Getting the full court man-to-man -man pressure by the Titans. Titans a much better defensive team than the last opponent that the Red Devils seen. 
They're cutting off passing lanes the entire length of the floor, playing man to man. Bluston Miller for three on the right side, and it's way short. Number 10, Liggins gets the ball, but he can't handle it, and it goes out of bounds for the Red Devil basketball. So Prego have it underneath the Titan goal, 6.40 left in the third period. Davis kicks to Nate Lester from the corner for a three. A little bit strong, but Hightower's going to get the uh, rebound. They're going to kick it back into Nate Lester, who's going to go up strong, and that's off the mark. Number 10, Liggins is going to come down for the, with the rebound. He's going to try to throw it out to number 12 down the court, Smith, but it's just a little bit too long for him. So that'll be a turnover for the Titans. Still the same score, 44-24, 6-20 and counting left in the third period. Bluston Miller inside the lane runs a floater and it's going to fall. Number 12, Smith's three-pointers off the mark. After it bounces around a couple times, Nate Lester comes down with the rebound. Oh, no way. Very rarely will you, will you see me say it's a bad call, but that was a bad call. So Hightower gets the ball in the post, and he just spins and guy. Anyways, that's a foul against, offensive foul against Cameron Hightower. 5'11 left in the third period. That's Brooks down low from the block. going to go up, and I believe Bluston Miller... Jumped a little bit too early on the pump fake and got him on top of him. So he'll shoot too. 4.58 left in the third period. Brooks' first free throw goes, and he'll have a chance for another one. Again, lane violation on the Titans, so that one won't count. 26-45, favor of the Titans, 4.55 left in the third period. Here comes another dunk, number one, Galloway. Prey comes down this way. I think Nate Lester was fouled on the floor before the shot. So number 10, Nate Lester will sit down. Number four, Eli Bias comes in for him. Trip Davis with a shot from the top of the free throw line, and it looks like he's going to be fouled by number 10, Liggins. And Trip Davis will shoot two free throws. That's the second foul on Tulsa McLean this half. Third foul on for Liggins of the game. Davis' first free throw goes.
And a second one is good. 19 point lead for the Titans. That's Buckley from the corner for three. His, that ball's off. Rebound number 14, McCall for the Titans. He'll drive, he'll go up. His layup is off. Ball's tipped around and Cameron Hightower comes down with it for the Red Devils. He'll kick it out to Trip Davis and the... Davis driving baseline is gonna kick it out to Peyton Zell. He's wide open in the corner for a three and his ball's way off, it's too deep. On the rebound, they kick it way down to number 12. Smith. Number 12, Smith with the three that's off, but we're going to have a loose ball foul on number five, Buckley of the Titans. Trip Davis goes coast to coast, and his layup's going to be short. He thought he was fouled. Titans come down fast the other direction. And Grooms, who just checked in, gets a steal for the Red Devils. Blusted Miller bringing the ball up the court. He's going to be fouled by number one, Galloway. Tripped up. And that's either going to be the fourth or fifth foul of the Titans this half. I think it's the fourth team foul. Prague's got three teams fouls. Titans got... 14 fouls, and that's only Galloway's first. Three minutes left in the third period. Bluston Miller's going to drive. He's going to get hammered by number 14, McCall. So that'll be the fifth team foul, and that's McCall's third foul, personal foul. Quick pass to Davis, who's free throw or a layup is short. Rebound number 14, McCall. He's going to get it. Bring it down. Ball was loose there for a while, but McCall ends up coming back up with it. He'll kick it to Buckley in the corner. Smith's shot at the top of the key is going to be short. Prego rebound. Kicked out to Grooms, but he's called for the travel at midcourt. Two minutes and 31 seconds left in the third period. McLean leads Prague, 47 to 28. Davis, Ezell, Grooms, Bias, and Miller on the floor for Prague. Number 12, Smith's three from the left wing is good. Fifty to twenty-eight in favor of Tulsa. This is Blustin Miller driving for the layup. He's going to be fouled. I believe number fifty-five. Taylor is the one that fouled him. That'll be his first, and that'll be the sixteen foul for Tulsa McLean. So from now on, till the end of the game, Prague will be shooting at least a one and one. And Miller's first is good. Two oh nine left. Miller's second is off. Rebound number 55, Taylor. And he took too many steps when he came down with it. And they're going to call him for a travel. So Prego get the ball back underneath the goal. These are the type of possessions that we're going to have to start, start, you know, scoring some points on. This is where we have to make up this deficit right here. ezell has got a wide open three in the corner. His is a little bit long, but Bias comes down with a rebound. Another second chance for Prego. Davis is going to drive, kick it to Blustin Miller, and he's going to go up and score, but they're going to call Trip Davis for the uh, offensive foul. Came in a little bit too hot, and that's Buckley, number five, for the Titans that's going to take the charge. And this team is really good at doing that. It's about the third or the fourth one that they've done, but that one was pretty legit right there. So 29-50, to 50, favor of Tulsa McLean Titans. 
145 and counting left in the third quarter. This is Smith again for three. It's off. Eli Bias comes down with the rebound. Blesta Miller bring the ball up the floor. Peyton Ezell on the drive is going to throw a floater that's not going to go, but he gets his own rebound, kicks it to the middle to Bias who's open. He's going to go up strong and he's going to be fouled. I believe number 55, Taylor got him. No, it's going to be on number 22, Nichols, for the Titans. So Eli Bias will shoot two. First one is good. Nate Lester's going to come back in for number 22, Zach Grooms. Lester, Bias, Zell, Davis, and Miller on the floor for the Red Devils. Bias, the second free throw is good. See if we can get a stop right here. Brooks is going to drive. Gets two Red Devils to go up in there, but he misses it. 55, Taylor gets the rebound. The putback is no good. Gets it again and misses it. So after all of that and all the loose balls and all the offensive rebounds, number 32, Brooks is going to catch his third foul. And that should be a one-and-one -one situation for Prague. So it looks like Nate Lester, number 10, is going to go shoot a one-and-one -one down at the other end. That's Tulsa McLean's eighth foul of the half. And again, the third foul on Brooks, number 32. One minute and one second left in the third period. A lot of fouls this period. Lester's first, in the first shot of the one-on-one -on -one doesn't go. Rebound by number 55, Taylor, but he's trying to get it out to number 10, Liggins, and he throws it out, throws it away. So Prague will get the ball back again with another chance to, to, to cut into the deficit. Galloway comes in for Taylor for the Titans. Lester's pass to Ezell down low, hits a fadeaway just off the right block, and that's going to go. Kind of coming to life here at the end of the third quarter. 41 seconds of counting. It's number one, Galloway driving in there. And number three, Blustin Miller's going to stand his ground and take the charge. And, it's gonna, and, and number one, Galloway's going to get called for the offensive foul. Heads up play there by Blustin Miller. And that'll be Galloway's second foul and ninth. A great pass underneath. Nate, it looked like Nate Lester fed Trip Davis on a cut. He goes up and gets fouled. Foul's going to be on number four, Nolan, of the Titans. And Trip Davis will shoot two with 24.1 seconds left in the third quarter. First one's good. Trip's pretty good from the line. He rarely misses. Just when I say that, he'll miss this one. Y'all can blame it on me. Trip second is good, and they've cut the lead. They were they were down by 25 at one time. Now they've got it down to 15, 35 to 50 with 19 seconds left in the third period. Now down to 12 seconds, 10, 9, 8. Galloway's going to take a shot from the top of the key, a three-pointer rebound by Bias, who kicks it out to Bluston. No, I'm sorry, Peyton Ezell. He's going to drive and throw one up. And get called for a travel? I have no idea how you get a travel out of that. But, I mean, maybe an offensive foul or a defensive foul, but a travel? Well, again, that's why I'm up here, not down there. So this is the end of the third period, 35 to 50 in favor of Tulsa McLean. And we'll be right back. 
Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Ortho Plus is an orthopedic urgent care. If you go to a regular emergency room, you're going to be evaluated by somebody who does everything. With orthopedic urgent care and with Keith Holloman, you're getting an orthopedic trained physician assistant. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst. Okay, so we're back for the start of the fourth and final period. Titans will get the ball first. Again, from now on, every foul, Preg's going to shoot two free throws. They have 10 team fouls. So. McClain, Tulsa McLean in no hurry, obviously. And number one, Galloway's going to get called for the uh, travel. So that'll be another turnover for the Titans. And he'll sit down. And number 22, Nichols will come in replacing him. So we got Blustin Miller, Trip Davis, Nate Lester, Eli Bias, and Peyton Ezell on the floor for the Red Devils. Davis driving, ah, barely missed it, just a tad short, rebound. Rebound Titans, they'll kick it out to number 21, Bennett. He'll go up strong and get fouled. 7.02 left in the game. Bennett shooting two for the Titans. Foul was called on Eli Bias, his second, Preg's fifth team. Bennett's going to make the first one. Eli Bias is going to sit down, and Cameron Hightower, number 25, is going to come in. Also, Peyton Ezell is going to sit for number two, Jalen Smith, it looks like. Bennett's second free throw is no good, but it's rebounded by the Titans. Kicked out to number 10, Liggins. His shot is off the mark. Preg's racing down the floor. Trip Davis is going to go up strong. He'll be fouled by number 32. Brooks, and I believe that's his fourth or fifth. At least his fourth. He's not very happy about the call. So Davis will shoot two with 6.50 left in the game. And Trip misses the first. A rare miss by Davis at the line. Told you that was going to come back to bite me. Trail, shake your head, yep. <laughs> Just when I said he's going to be perfect. Oh, I done jinxed him now. So Tripp misses both free throws. McLean with the rebound. Miller with heavy pressure on the Titans. Call working on Miller, and the ball's loose. Trip Davis ends up with it. He'll have to slow it down, and they trap him at about midcourt. Loose ball picked up. Number 21 ends up with it. Bennett, but they're going to say that he walked. Again, I'm not really sure about that call either. Preg working, trying to get any kind of breathing room. That's Blustin Miller with the floater across the middle, and that's no good. Rebound. 
Rebound and kicked out to Galloway, and he'll dunk it for about the third time this game. Nate Lesser with a shot from the wing that's going to fall. Number 14 to call on the drive. He's going to be fouled by Hightower, and he'll shoot two. So we got a timeout on the floor, 37-53 in favor of the Titans. So the Titans to inbound the ball underneath the Preg goal. 5.31 left in the game. That's number 21, Bennett with a shot from the wing. Good backdoor cut there by Luster. Good feed by Trip Davis, and that'll count. Four fifty-five left in the game, and counting. Trip Davis guard number ten, Liggins out top. So number one, Galloway with the shot. He'll get his own rebound. Go back up and he'll be fouled. I think Cameron Hightower is going to get called for this one. Galloway will shoot two. 55-39, four minutes and 37 seconds left in the game. Galloway's first rolls in. Looks like Peyton Zell is fixing to come in for the Red Devils. Galloway's second is off the mark. Rebounded by Nate Lester. He'll kick it out to Jalen Smith. And Tripp will be the floor general coming down the court this trip. Davis kicks it out to Hightower who's going to shoot a three. That's off the mark, number 21. Bennett comes down with the rebound and he's going to be they call a jump ball on that? Trill, they call a jump ball on that? I think they call a jump ball, so, so Prego get the possession right there. Craig just trying to get breathing room on, on offense, and we, we can't do it. And Coach Greer is going to call a timeout. Three minutes and 58 seconds left in the game, 39 to 56 in favor of um, Tulsa McLean. We'll be right back. 
Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. And we are back. 3.58 left in the game. It's going to be busted. Miller in the corner for a three. who's off a little bit deep. Rebound number 14, McCall. Craig's going to have to press. We need to score a lot of points in a little amount of time. I think uh, Titans are going to play some keep away here for a bit. And a steal. Nate Lester's going to try to go coast to coast. Good pump fake, good, good bucket. And then we're going to keep pressing here. I guess we're going to pick him up at half court here. Blustin Miller, excellent, excellent defense by number three, Blustin Miller. Who swats the ball and it goes off of number 14, McCall. And that'll be a turnover again. So after the timeout, Red Devils come out firing on all cylinders. Still got a long way to go. Craig's cut the three-point shooting down by the Titans. Considerable the second half. It's a good drive by Bluston. Miller kicks it out to Hightower. His shot's off. He's going to poke it back to Bluston. He's going to take it off. So here we go. We're going to pick him up, and it's about to get fast and nasty here. 228 and counting. Left in the game. Bluston's going to have to be careful here. Let's not get a foul. That's another turnover. Trip Davis with the steal. Pokes it to Hightower, who Hightower is taking the ball down the floor. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by number 14, McCall, for the Titans. So, Preg ball on the far edge. Two minutes and eight seconds left in the game. Down by what? 13? Is my math right, Trill? Hightower's going to kick it out to Davis for a wide open three. Good look at it. It's off the mark, but Blustin Miller gets the rebound. And this guy is on fire right now, boys. Boys and girls, timeout, Tulsa, or Tulsa McLean Titans. Blustin Miller, about the last two minutes, him and Tripp have kind of taken this game over and tearing it up, getting steals, getting buckets. So 151 left in the game. Preggs cut it to 11. So this is the closest we've been since the start of the game. Like I said earlier, I think they were up 25 on us at one point. They've cut it to 11.
So we're back in play on the inbound. Trying to get the ball to number 10, Liggins, and I think number 10, Nate Lester, fouled him. So, that, so um, that's going to put the Titans into the bonus. So he'll shoot a one on one. I believe that was number 10, Liggins. And that is Nate Lester's fourth foul. He's going to have to be careful. So that's the Red Devils' eighth team foul. And the Titans are, are past the limit. They're 10 plus. So any foul that's committed by them, the Red Devils will be shooting two. Liggins missed the front end of a one and one. So Preg's going to try to run and run fast. We need a lot of points here. Minute 48 and counting. Peyton Ezell from the wing, his shot's off, rebound Liggins. And Prague's going to press, press. Oh, it's deflected, deflected by Tripp Davis right into Peyton Ezell's hands. So we get another steal, we're just going to have to get on, and then, then the ball was thrown away. Buckley with the steal for the Titans. He's going to take it up. He fumbles it, and that's going to be a travel. So the Red Devils are getting the turnovers that we need to, to stay in the game. We just got to capitalize on them. Bluston Miller to throw the ball in. Tripp will bring it up the court. 112 and counting. Break down by 11. Bluston Miller from the corner, and that was in and out, but Davis gets the rebound and put back. Craig is going to press. They cut it to single digits now, just down nine. 56 seconds left. We're going to have to pressure. Bluston's going to pressure, and he's going to foul. Number 14, McCall will go to the line shooting a one and one with 52.4 seconds left in the game. So this is that was Preg's last semi foul to give. Next time they'll they'll be shooting two. Everybody's going to be shooting two on any other foul in the game. That is Miller's fourth foul. Coach Greer is going to call a timeout. 52 seconds left of the game, 56-47 in favor of the Titans. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The way you used to access healthcare previously, I think that's kind of out of date. I think Ortho Plus and Calvin were trying to get patients access to him and then have the assurance that you'll be referred to the right people. That's why I think the partnership is so good. When it comes to cellular service, why pay for data you don't use? Pioneer Cellular offers a variety of plans designed to give you the lowest prices on the data you Okay, and we're back. So after the timeout, again, 52.4 seconds left, break down by nine. Both teams in the double bonus. Well, after after he shoots this one and one, everybody will be in the double bonus. Number 14, McCall, shooting the front end of a one and one. And he makes it. So he'll get one more. Titans have got it back up to 10. And he makes the second. I mean, their defense, their, their cross-court defense is just amazing. Ah, number 30, Peyton Zell tries to track down a loose ball, but just couldn't get enough on it to get it back in bounds. So that's going to be a turnover with 38.3 seconds left in the game, and the Titans up by 11. That's Brooks that goes up strong, and he's denied big time by Nate Lester. But the Titans are going to save it. And that forces 
the Red Devils to have to foul again. So Peyton Nizel is going to foul number number 10 Liggins, which is one of their best shooters. With 31 seconds left, up by 11. This will be two free throws now, both teams in the double bonus. Liggins' first free throw is off the mark. Well, the good thing about that is this is his third free throw to miss in a row. But he doesn't make it forward. He'll make the second one. Put him back up by 12. Thir 28 seconds and counting. Left in the game. Davis is going to take it himself. Going to go around. Somebody trying to get a, take a charge. Shots off the mark. Number one, Galloway is going to come down with the rebound. But then Preg's going to tie him up and, and create the jump ball. But the arrow is still in favor of the Titans. So they'll get the ball underneath the goal, and we're going to have a Titan timeout. So Tulsa McLean Titans leading by 12, 18 seconds left. The others on your plan really need. That's why people all over are switching to Pioneer. Pioneer Cellular can save you money on your family plan, no matter how you define family. Do the math. Visit our website at gopioneer.com, call us at 800-641-2732, or stop by a local Pioneer store. Find out how much we can save you. Versatile Networks can handle all of your school or business technology and wiring needs. Expanding into a new building or office space, we would love to give you a free quote for your network wiring. Are your computers outdated? Are your servers slow? Is your network underperforming? Is your wireless network weak? Let Versatile Networks come in and assess the situation and get you back up and running. So as play resumes, they'll do a baseball, try to try to beat Lester over the top. Galloway's got it. Oh, and he carried the ball. They didn't call it. So the Titans will be smart and pull it back out with 11 seconds left. And number 12, Smith, will be fouled by Peyton Ezell. He'll shoot two. That's Peyton's fourth foul. And that'll just about wrap it up. Smith will get two chances to put the Titans up by 13 and 14. First free throw by Smith is off. I think the next game that we'll be will be at home next Tuesday against Stroud. I believe that's right. I think it's the 8th. And we'll be here streaming it live. And then we have a tournament the following week. Smith's second free throw is good. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six, three, two, one. Tulsa McLean Titans come into Prague. Good 4A school. And they beat Prague 47 to 60. And again, my name is Mike Myers. Sun Trail's the camera guy. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, get a hold of me. We'll try to make this thing better. I'm working on trying to get some player interview or coach interviews after the game. But as of right now, it's not really going to kind of work out due to the COVID issue and stuff like that. So, again, the final 60-47 to 47 in favor of Tulsa, and we will see you guys next week.